Welcome to the ClearWave Fiber Customer Administration Portal Training Video Series. In this series, you'll learn how to manage your company's hosted voice service by following brief demonstrations of the different settings in the administration portal. In this video, we'll cover some of the most common user settings you'll modify for your hosted phone system users. I'm starting off on the Manage Phone System landing page, which was covered in depth in another video. To the far right of the screen, you'll see two icons in the Action column, Edit and Reassign. We've covered how to reassign seats to users in another video, so for the purpose of this video, we're going to click on Edit. When you're editing settings in the Manage Settings dialog box, pay attention to the extension shown at the top. Any changes I make in Manage Settings here will only reflect for extension 1001. In this video, we're only covering the most common questions about the Incoming Calls tab, the Outgoing Calls tab, the E911, and Time Zone tabs. Messaging will be covered in a separate video. The most common thing you or your end users will interact with in the Incoming Calls tab are the call forwarding options. End users can still use star codes to enable and disable the different call forwarding options, but this can also be done in CAP. When you click a call forwarding option dropdown, you'll notice on the right that the system automatically toggles the option to on. It will not stay on unless you click the save button at the bottom. You can forward incoming calls to any internal extension or to any external phone number like someone's cell phone. When setting up call forwarding to an external number, you must enter the area code with the phone number, otherwise the calls will not complete. If you've set up and turned off call forwarding in the past, the last phone number used will still be available to you in CAP, so you can easily turn it back on when needed. Remember though, this only forwards calls made to this phone, not the company main number. Let's move on to the Outgoing Calls tab. The most common things you or your end users will manage here are the personal list and the speed dial list. The personal list allows users to create the directory for their phone. This does not set up soft key dialing. It only adds names and numbers to the directory found within the menu of the phone. To add someone, simply click the plus button, enter the person's name and phone number. Be sure to click the save button to save any changes. The speed dial list allows users to set up short key codes for speed dialing. Similar to the personal list, this does not set up soft key dialing. It only adds numbers to a short key command to speed dial other numbers. For instance, this user has set up speed dial 00 pound to call their home phone. Also, like the personal list, to add someone, simply click the plus button, click the drop down and select the next speed code available, enter the telephone number and the person's name, then click save. The next tab we're reviewing is the E911 tab. This tab is not available to end users and is only visible to admin users. Please don't make any changes to this tab unless you have an employee that works fully remote. If the address is incorrectly changed, the wrong address will be reported to 911 when you're calling for emergency services. If your business moves to a new location, Clearway Fiber will update the E911 address for you. Finally, in the Time Zone tab, you can modify the time zone for any employee that may work remotely in a different time zone. This will update the time displayed on the user's phone to their time zone.